Oh, good morning, you guys. It is 4.30 a.m. and I'm getting to the farm. Um, I was listening to a song this morning. And the song was saying, hey, um, I just got back from a ski trip, by the way. Um, every single day is vacation because I like my occupation. So it's like, I'm really not back from vacation. I'm just going on a different vacation, work vacation. Um, I'm up this early because I'm loading out hogs. So I'm just grabbing some earplugs, some gloves, and let's get out to it. Well, that took way longer than expected. Um, it's now 8.45, we started at five sharp. Um, and we only did two trucks. I don't think it's ever taken that long. I've got a weird rash on my face from the mask I was wearing to protect myself from all the hog dust. And my legs are actually covered in bruises because I may or may not have been like smashed by pigs a few times. Yeah, definitely not even, it's not pleasant at all. Um, Ready to go home, shower, get on with the day. <sighs> so I am like kind of really dirty. Um, lots of hog dust all over me. That's why I was wearing a mask. My boots are particularly dirty, obviously. Um, and I was just going to show you my bruised knee. Ugh. It really hurts. Anyways, so I can't wear these boots inside. So I think I'm just going to take them off and walk barefoot that's my plan anyways well I go shower and get cleaned up um, I'm going to show you some footage of what I did right before I left on the ski trip and then we'll pick up again today good morning I've decided I'm just going to keep wearing clothes like this my men's jeans Timberland boots huge Carhartt gloves that are literally like Literally the size of my face. My fingers only fill up about half these gloves until it's just fashionable, okay? So if you guys could join with me, make this trendy, much appreciated. First order of business today. Um, uh, the telehandler is what we used yesterday to fix the roof and it was snow covered. So we parked it inside last night and then it all dripped all over the floor. So I got the squeegee out and I'm going to be squeegeeing all the water up. I kind of already did it, but you get the idea. Squeegeeing into the floor drain over there. All right, the next job I really don't need to be bundled up for. Um, we got my favorite tractor, 8345R. Um, I don't technically own this, I just rent it, but everyone calls it my tractor because it's my favorite. Um, so I haven't been in here for a while. So I'm going to clean it out, wipe down all the surfaces, and then start installing all of my technology here. I've got a whole new setup that I'm doing for this planting season. So, I'm gonna get all that organized. Oh, ouchie. I just hit my head. Oh, yikes. Oh man, that really hurt. All right, all the junk is out of the tractor. Next step is going to be to vacuum it all out. Usually I use a little mini Milwaukee vacuum to do this, but I can't find that anywhere. So shop back it is. Man, I really wish I could find that Milwaukee vacuum. Hauling the shop vac up here is, that's ridiculous. All right, here's a little before. Uh, this bar installed here, and it's hooked up to our Ag Leader monitor. Um, the John Deere monitor is attached to the chair here. Um, I have this little like resting place. I like to put my phone on there and some snacks, um, but this is the bar I'm upgrading. 
So I'm gonna install that. This is the before. All right, here's what the new bar looks like. Just gotta get all the packaging off here. It's kinda heavy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put this in by myself. Maybe though, I don't know. We'll see how it goes in. See how this works. All right, dad took some of the bigger monitors out, um, but now I'm going to take this bar out here. All right, here's my progress so far. I have added this holder and then this bar and then put an extender and this holder so this can kind of swivel out. So I guess I wanted to show you guys that like the tractor doesn't come with all this stuff. Like these are all add-ons that you gotta do later. Aftermarket, I got an aftermarket cap. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. I'm also hooking up so I've got proper amount of phone mounts. Um, I got this magnetic one that can go right there getting things all set up ready for planting season and here we go just keep working on this as the spring goes on all right so this is the year that my grandpa retired and uh, to reward himself for his entire lifetime of hard work and farming he bought himself a brand new pickup and dad and I just picked it up for him. It is probably one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Um, yeah, so if anyone wants to ship one of these to my PO box, uh, yeah, definitely would be up for that. <laughs> he totally deserves it though. Wow.